and um, I'm wearing I shoes like that are designed by her because oh, yeah, I am. These oh, are so cute. They're from the House of Harlow, which is her daughter's name. I, I wore them in, in honor of her birthday. They look so cute yeah. on you, and I love, love you in fact. I wonder if she wears these shoes. I wouldn't even wear these, but I wore them because it's her birthday. It's so cute. I, are great. I got them. Especially in New York. You know, I love Nicole Richie for some reason. I do, too. You know, it's so funny that well, like Lionel Richie is now like Nicole Richie's father. It's like some people only know him like that. Yeah. It's just so funny. Yeah, she yeah. really, like jumped man it's also the day that sandra day o'connor became the first female supreme court justice on september 21st mm-hmm. you know that's good is that a good thing or a bad thing it's a good thing that a woman <laughs> became a supreme court I know, justice women today are doing some funny things in politics well did you see i don't know do you ever read am new york the newspaper i read it in yeah. the morning while i'm walking the dog did you see the cover of it did i no i didn't well, more women are alcoholics than um, yes. well than, than ever before. At least it's that they're catching up to men, or like it's the it's the headline. That's too bad. Uh, it's crazy. I think it's just more people are out about being alcoholic. Anyway, That's true. You know what I mean. Anyway, tonight is also the anniversary of Monday Night Football. It premiered on on September twenty first. Well, that makes a lot of guys happy. <laughs> it certainly does. I told one today, and he he seemed to remember that day oh, very well. Those are sitting there going, oh. It's the day that Jimi Hendrix changed the spelling of his name legally to J I M I on good. September twenty first. Sixty six. Yes, good old Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Perry Mason with Raymond. Burr premiered on this day. In 57. Yeah. It's a crazy day. A lot of things premiered on this day. The Star Spangled Banner was published as a poem on this day. September well, that would 21st. make it in on the cusp between uh, Virgo and Libra, and Libra rules justice. So that makes sense. Oh, that's good. Astrologically. And J.R.R. Tolkien published The Hobbit. On this day, in September 21st. 21st, yes. Do you remember the weekly readers in school? Did yeah, you, yeah, yeah. They made their debut on this day, September 21st. and um, In 1928. Yeah, right. and um, John Lennon and Yoko Ono were Dick Cabot's only guests on September 21st. 1971. Yes, so that was a pretty interesting day. And um, a couple other things is Christy Brinkley got married for the fourth time. On this day. To Peter Cook in 1996. Yeah, was she was still married to him? Oh, he was such a... Oh, so I guess it's kaput. He's swarmy. Is she married again? No. So that was it? Mm-hmm. That ended marriage for her? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's... But she's on, like, Dancing with the Stars. She's something. really very pretty. She's amazing, Christy Brinkley. Mm-hmm. I met her for her person. You did? Gorgeous. Uh, I met yeah. her at Bendel's years ago when she had her daughter, little... Alexis. From, Alexis was, like, oh, five, five to four years old. Cute little... Yeah. She looked exactly like her dad. She does. Just exactly. Like she's adorable. She, she grew up to be really pretty. She's in a band now. She's yeah, doing she's the whole pretty. thing. All right, birthdays. It's Liam Gallagher's birthday. You know who he is. Oasis, one of the brothers. They are too funny, those guys. It's um, Ricky Lake's birthday Ricky. today. Yeah. I she's, love her. She, everybody loves her. Bill Murray's birthday. Stephen King's birthday is today. I saw a commercial for Misery. I wonder if that had anything to do with his birthday. Because, you know. Stephen King? Yeah. He's, he's one strange guy. He does strange things. It's Larry guy. Hagman's birthday. I thought he was, I thought he passed away. Yeah, but it's still his birthday. So but he, did he pass away? I think he did. I think he might. I did too. Um, J.R. Ewing, yeah. But he's so, let's make him an angel. J-R. But the person who really passed away on this day that I want as my giant angel in the room okay. is Jacqueline Suzanne. Oh, oh, I love that. Valley of the Dolls. Um, you know, Harley, my daughter, made me read that book. That's she, a great book. It, I, it's a great I, movie. We loved it. We read the book. We rented the movie. Then we, like, saw a play about her. And it was just like we were obsessed with her and all of her books that didn't become as big as Valley of the Dolls. Jacqueline, Suzette, like the... Um, Suzanne. All those, all those passion Novels are copies of her. Right. She started that whole yeah. brigade. She did. I love her. So she is an angel in our room today. Also, the inventor of the band aid. His <laughs> name is Earl Dixon. And you know, I found a band aid on the street today. So he definitely is an angel in this room. Symbolic. And one other angel is Florence Griffiths Joyner. Do you remember her? I actually don't. The Olympic runner. She oh. died at 38 years old. Ooh. 
Exactly. Well, she ran, got her medal, and yeah. now she's an angel. So we will be back. What? Did you have something? No, it's okay. We'll, later. we'll be back on this episode of Root and Who.